light in colour, dry in sweetness and subtle in taste. Belgian Golden Strong seems so innocent. That's until you see it's 8% ABV. Let's brew one. Hi, I'm Martin Keane, and on this channel, Homebrew How To, we cover brew days and tips. And today we're brewing one of my favourite beer stars, which is Belgian Golden Strong Ale. Now, the recipe for this is a smash recipe, so single malt and single hops. Um, but not only that, it's a smash recipe with only a single hop addition, so it's super simple. Let's take a look. Come on in. So, the, the recipe for this is uh, just 12 pounds of German Pilsner malt. That's all I'm mashing with. Uh, then when we drain from the mash and go into the boil, that is when we'll introduce the bittering hop. So the bittering hop I'm using for this is two and a half ounces of styrian golding. That's it, no aroma, flavor hops, just going for the bittering. And then to get up the ABV, it's time to add some sugar. So 15 minutes from the end of the boil, I will add three pounds of sugar. Sucrose, dextrose, whatever you like. Uh, I'm using dextrose because I have to have some lying around. Now that's a lot of sugar, that's 20% of the ingredients is going to be sugar. And the reason for that is because we want this beer to really fall out very dry and it really gives the opportunity then to feature the yeast. So for the yeast I am using Y yeast 3522, that's Belgium Ardenas yeast, and I really want to draw out that sort of fruity, spicy ester that you get from Belgian yeast and this should be absolutely perfect to highlight that because there's really not much else going on with the beer. Now the mash temperature for this one is about 150 um, and I think the most remarkable thing about this beer so far is the colour. Uh, putting this recipe into Beersmith, it's come out and said the SRM, the colour, is 3.8. That is the lightest beer I've ever brewed. And look, take a look. I've, I've just drawn this sample uh, from pretty much the end of the mash. I <laughs> have not seen a beer quite this light before. All right, so it's a 90-minute boil, and uh, we're 30 minutes into that now. So time to add 2.5 ounces of Styrian Golden Hops as the bittering hop. Boy, this is a long boil without a whole lot to do. Really clean my equipment. I um, guess I'll find some other way to entertain myself for another hour. Here it is, the Monster Sugar Edition. That's three pounds of sugar going in at 15 minutes. Okay, we ended up at 10.66. It's time to add the yeast, 1066 is certainly close enough. So this has uh, been in the fridge for a little while, I cold crashed it, just gonna pour it in. All right, the wort and the yeast are in the fermenter, ready to become beer. Gonna leave it in there at 66 Fahrenheit, uh, and then start to bump up the temperature uh, to help finish it off. It's uh, time for fermentation. Okay, so it's a couple of months later now, and this is the part where I show you the finished beer. Except I kind of forgot to film that, now the keg's gone dry. So the fermentation came out fine, the drink tastes good, no obvious off flavours that I could detect. But, you know, I felt like the beer was just kind of missing that, that little something. Perhaps I could have added just a touch of specialty grains, or maybe a late edition hop would have just added that little bit extra that I feel like it was missing. It was a little bit kind of by the book. So that's it for this one. There are plenty more homebrew videos coming up. See you on the next one.